Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 31st Node.js tutorial and in this video we are finally going to start creating our to-do application in Node.js. Woohoo! Okay then, so first of all I want to point you in the direction of my GitHub page and in particular this repository right here. I'll leave the link to it down below and right here I've uploaded some basic files for us to get started with in this application. And it's just one folder, a public folder with some styles in it, a JavaScript file, and also a little image of a ninja. So if you wanna go ahead and download that to your desktop, then open it up in your text editor, we can get started. All right, so I've gone ahead and opened up the public folder in my text editor, Atom, right here. And I'm just gonna walk you through this really quickly. There's an assets folder inside that. Then we have this little logo right here. We also have the styles.css file, which is just some really basic styles, which is gonna make our to-do application look a bit better. Uh, nothing fancy in here, and I'm not gonna go through it in this tutorial because this is a Node.js tutorial, not a CSS one, but feel free to browse through those and ask any questions if you need to. Then finally, we have this to-do list.js file, which is gonna handle our Ajax requests to either post or delete items from our to-do application. And we're gonna go through this file in great detail later on. For now, it's just enough to know it's there and that's what it's for. Okay, cool. So we have those basic files. And the next thing I wanna do is create our package.json file and install our dependencies. So we know how to do that. It's just npm init. And then this is gonna throw up a series of questions which we need to answer about the application. So first of all, the name, I'm fine with it is, uh, as it is, no JS playlist. Then the version, that's fine. Description, a little to-do app. Uh, entry point is gonna be app.js. Test command, nope. Git repository, nope. Keywords, don't really have any. Author, me. License, fine as it is. Is this okay? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. So now we have this package.json file and we can install our dependencies and they're gonna be tracked in this file. So what packages are we gonna need for this project? Well, first of all, we're gonna need Express. This is gonna be an Express application. So let's go ahead and install that by saying npm. And first of all, we need to get down here. npm install Express. And then I'm gonna pass through the save flag so that it saves it as a dependency in this file right here. Okay, so next we wanna install EJS for our templating. So we'll say npm install EJS and we're also gonna pass through the save flag so that up here, like Express, it's gonna be listed as a dependency. Okay, cool. And finally, I wanna install body parser because we're gonna be making post requests and we need it to pass the data in those requests. So I'll say npm install body hyphen parser and again i'm going to pass the save flag so that it is listed as a dependency right here okay so we are also going to be using another package called mongoose and we're going to be using that to interact with a nosql database in future tutorials but because we don't need it just yet i'm not going to install it just yet we'll go through that later on so there we go we have our package.json file ready we've got our basic files right there in the next tutorial, what I want to do is start fleshing out this project and creating our app.js file. So, any questions so far, feel free to leave those down below. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial.